Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Gregory Ursu, uh, Interaction Architect at DIWO. It's really exciting to be here just to get a sense of how quickly things are moving in this space. Uh, but with uh, all this awesome new technology and greater and greater insights, uh, I think the uh, business user's question today remains the same. You know, what does this insight mean to me? What does it mean for my business? What does it mean for my processes? And uh, even though we're embracing uh, big data uh, along with the AI connectors that are becoming available today, um, we can't, we have to all come to terms with the fact that we won't provide enough value to the business users unless they can truly um, understand and create that impact within their own business context. Uh, really apply that knowledge within their own business space. So having said that, uh, I'm sure you're all uh, familiar with, oh, let's turn this guy on here. I'm uh, sure you're all uh, familiar with the uh, knowledge uh, pyramid where we have data on, on the bottom. Uh, this data doesn't mean much to us unless it's uh, connected and organized so that we can digest it. But this data then becomes information. Information that we can further connect, uh, look at contextually, start understanding what it means in our own space and in our, in our own time, in our own context, which then can become knowledge. And um, the deeper this knowledge becomes, uh, the more we can understand and be able to not only process this knowledge, but apply this knowledge. And uh, a lot of the excitement around AI today has to do with classification tools. Um, understanding the difference, for example, between a line on the, on, on the road and a tree uh, for self-driving capability. And this is just, again, uh, creating new knowledge. Um, we're, on the other hand, we're looking to layer all of this knowledge on the user context, in their own business context. And when we do that, um, we can truly start understanding that knowledge and applying that knowledge. Without getting too esoteric on you, uh, we can define wisdom as really uh, the optimal application of knowledge. Uh, having that understand, that deep understanding, not only to uh, see what the issues are, but to un understand the underlying factors or the why behind the what. Uh, and I work with uh, some very brilliant people that thought about, I have the great fortune of working with them, and they were able to think about a framework as far as, you know, how do we go from knowledge to wisdom, and how do we make decisions optimally? Um, this decision, op, uh, uh, cognitive decision-making framework is what we call the opportunity-driven framework, where we actually, understanding business context and understanding uh, the business user, we can kind of package this wisdom into decisions. Uh, these decisions are not only uh, quantified for the user, but the system actually um, starts that conversation. So comparing it to uh, any type of uh, self-service BI tool, uh, really there is no comparison because on, on one hand, the user is really uh, um, starting that interaction, whereas with Dewo, always working in the background to synthesize knowledge and uh, user preferences and user context, it really unearths these opportunity types, these opportunities, and articulates them to the user. Now, the question is, from a UX perspective, how do we kind of create this uh, symbiotic relationship between um, machine and the human decision-making process? Uh, obviously, that human decision-making process really changes depending on, again, context, um, uh, in my case, if um, I'm making a decision and, and, and my wife is thrown into the mix, then uh, that whole decision-making process is taken care of. But from a uh, user perspective and from a user experience perspective, um, the, where the rubber hits the road, we have to understand that we're trying to guide the user uh, through their own specific um, decision-making process. And in order to do that, uh, the way we really thought about this was Again, the user experience is really being driven and inspired by this contextual thinking. So if you can imagine, rather than interfacing with the UI, you're interfacing with your navigation. So the navigation knows where you are along your decision-making journey, wherever that may be, understands it, and you can converse with this uh, DWO persona in order to understand exactly what you're looking at uh, and to have a conversation with 
the persona in order to make that optimal decision. Uh, again, this means that the navigation changes depending on the component. Um, beyond this, beyond this kind of layering of information contextually, we've created uh, we've created uh, the, the Dewo persona has its own kind of conversational persona that uh, we've separated, and the user can have guided conversation inside this process as well. Uh, to give you a sense of what this would look like, uh, I'm, I'm going to show you one of the uh, first iterations uh, of a use case uh, that is being applied to a um, fast fashion uh, retailer where they're looking at uh, optimizing their assortment planning. Uh, it's great to see how you know, optimizing their process by 2% is leading to a $30 million uh, difference to their bottom line. And in this case, the user is looking at a specific assortment plan and Dewo is telling him, them the difference, but also providing all these contextual tidbits, all this related information where the user can understand exactly what's going on with this specific decision that we've packaged for them inside their own process uh, without being encumbered by a, uh, a specific process that we've prescribed for them. <clears throat> As I mentioned, uh, this kind of conversational aspect is quite unique in the sense that not only are you having uh, an inline kind of conversation, I'm, I'm sure you've seen uh, chatbots or different types of applications where you can you know, question and answer. Beyond that, uh, the user would ask a question, they would receive an answer, whether it's textual or visual, depending on, on the requirement. Um, they also receive context. An expansion of that answer comes in the form of context. And Again, kind of tying in seemingly unrelated information, uh, we can derive insights with regards to this specific um, conversation. Even though they're seemingly unrelated, uh, Dewo can synthesize this knowledge in order to kind of guide the conversation in a different direction. And of course, uh, by giving the user uh, related questions, again, we're guiding the conversation, whether it's in um, the uh, opportunity framework where we have this persona layered on top of uh, the, the UI or specifically in the conversational persona. So that's essentially, in a nutshell, how we're guiding the conversation in order to um, get from data to wisdom. Data in, wisdom out. That's Dewo. Come talk to me at booth 914. Thank you.